Posner, makers of Posner Bergamot Hair Conditioner, Custom Blends Cosmetics, and other fine hair care and grooming products. And by General Motors and the people who make Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Cadillac, Opal, GMC Trucks, and Frigidaire Appliances. All with the GM Mark of Excellence. Few people have the good fortune to stand astride a century, seeing a nation go from horse buggies to rocket ships. We have with us a man who has. He's 90 years old, a songwriter since the age of 16, the acclaimed founder of ragtime music, and he is very definitely a precious fragment of our musical history, Mr. Yubi Blake. Yubi, thank you. Welcome to Black Omnibus. You're playing one of, one of my favorite songs. Is that so? Uh, doodling one of my favorite songs. Uh, you know, I feel funny trying to call you Yubi. Why, Mr. Blake? Well, I don't know. I, I just, I just feel funny. When, when did you, when did you start your? What made you decide on music as a career? What did you say? What made you decide on music as, as a career? Well, when I was a boy, some big time Negro would die, you know, and they have a band. See, and they play. <laughs> I said, that's beautiful. I don't like the way they play, see? But coming back, they're coming back, they play. That's the way I liked it, and I've been playing that way ever since. Ragtime. Ah. Uh, how, do, how do you define the word ragtime? I heard it one time. You see, my mother was a domestic. My mother and father were slaves, you see? And my mother would come, go to work seven o'clock in the morning she wouldn't get home till six seven o'clock in the evening sit down only eat two meals a day breakfast and dinner see. and i'm playing the organ we didn't have no piano see and i'm playing the organ my music lessons were that was my music lesson well when she wasn't in the house i played play it that way. My mother was behind me. She says, now what she was doing at home that early is by 11 o'clock in the morning. Take that rag time out of my house. Take it out of my house. See? Now the reason she said that, rag time was supposedly, low, supposedly to have been the lowest type of music. See? At that time. That's why she didn't want it. My mother was very religious. Uh -huh. That's why she didn't want it in the house. That's when I first took cognizance to the word rag time. I had never heard that word before, and she told me, take it out of the house. But as far as she was concerned, if you were evil enough, there was a place you could go to hear ragtime. Yes. Do, do you know how the word ragtime got in there? No, it's I just, don't know. It's, it's like... It uh, before my time. Maybe like a four... <laughs> <laughs> Anything before my time, but it's been a long time ago, wasn't it? Well, we, we'll keep exploring. Maybe someday we'll That's find right. out where I don't know who. Where I don't started. know where. It was long before your time. Yeah, long before All right. my time. <laughs> You, you, you were the son of freed slaves. How yeah, my hard? mother and father were both slaves. Now, my mother but was... But you ended up with a piano in your house that, oh, that early? Oh, no, piano, no. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, no, oh, you, you pump it with your feet, you see? Yeah. And, and was you, that their idea to you have... Play a, like, you play the organ, you pump, pump like ah. that. That's what I started on. And guess what the first nobody played? Listen. Because <laughs> he was a veteran in the Civil uh, War, see? I see. He didn't want no marching through Georgia on his organ. <laughs> <laughs> that was his organ. It was, well, it wasn't your organ. It was his organ. Well, I mean, well uh, he, you know, he, 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 he bought it for himself. Down, oh. They paid 25 cents. The organ cost $75. Weaver organ. I can uh, announce it now because there's no more Weaver. So I'm not putting no a plug, plug in. in. No, no plug. <laughs> and, uh, my mother had this. She didn't want she now my mother said, I told you she was a slave, she didn't have an education. When the men wanted to sell her organ, 
to my mother. I don't want him to be no piano plunker. See, that's, that's what my mother said. I would be a piano plunker. Piano, not piano. Piano plunker. Because uh -huh. he was uneducated. And my father, he, he didn't want me to play marching through Georgia, see. He didn't want that in his house <laughs> because that's what he, he was shot 11 times and lived, you know, uh -huh. see. Not in one day, one no, he was shot eleven times mm -hmm. and uh, he survived each time that he was shot in the Civil what, War. What other people besides your parents uh, who were slaves, who had an organ? Uh, this was it before you were interested in music yourself? They, yeah. They had the, the lady organ. next door had a piano, a oh. flat top piano. But the people that she worked for were going to Paris and they gave her the piano. She was a, uh, a Finnish musician as far as, uh, I don't know, she couldn't write music because she didn't teach me how to write music. I couldn't write music until 1915. This is around, this is before the Spanish American War. See? Oh. And uh, she said, heard me playing, says that boy should have lessons, see? So she gave me lessons to uh, read music. So I would, could read music ever since I was six years old. See? Wow. See? So but today, I'm not a sight reader. I can't sit down like uh, Alec Cobden, those boys sit down and play a symphony uh, uh, concerto on the piano. I, I could take it and learn it. Oh, I see. Like I used to play Ratchet and Blue. See, listen here. <laughs> Took me four everything. days to learn it. See, committing everything to memory then. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. learned yeah. four four and eight bars at the time, uh -huh. and then I get it to put it all together. Uh -huh. But I'm not a sight reader, and I don't want anybody to think that I'm or songs like uh -huh. popular songs, I read them right off. But a concerto and a heavy rhapsody like that, I have to take it and learn it, see. Mm -hmm. Go well, ahead with your question. Well no, the, the, don't the, let them die out. <laughs> The, the, I want to ask the founder of Ragtime, uh, then, then came what, what form or style of music at, at well, after the Ragtime? we used to play, we would play, play uh, at the Astor Hotel. That just torn down now, you know. Yeah. Way down the street from where I first saw you, right. on, Bro on Broadway. Yes. Okay? And they would play... musicians and we had Jim Europe I'm working for now in New York see mm -hmm. I'm in New York now the white orchestra would be there with 21 with strings and everything and they play Millicent see and when they finish we do it yeah. we play at ragtime see the, whatever they play we play at ragtime uh -huh. Now, I, I want to tell you one story, Earl. You know, I know some of the old, younger people are going to say we were clowns for doing this. We had the finest musician that you could get, James Reese Europe, who had the 15th band. See? The operators would come to New York, we'd get a book, cost $2 and a half of every show come in. And Jim would sit down and these were play it right off the reel. See? Oh. Now we make our own arrangement at orchestra. I mean. Everybody's reading off a off a a, a, a piano score. See? see, and Eric Comder, he 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 could read anything. See, put it up there, and these guys were sharks. See, now when we would go to play, now it's going to open tonight. Say that Mary Wood is going to open tonight, yeah. and the people be dancing around. They would say to me, see, I was conductor. I play something with. I had two pianos. So, do you boys know uh, Mary Wood of Walsh? And they look at me. Hey, you, you know. I said, how does it go, lady? So, she says, la, da, da, da. Oh, yes. I said, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> we make an August, make an orchestration, a head orchestration to beat the one that the guy wrote. You see? <laughs> and you know what they say? Isn't that one for those colored boys don't read a note? <laughs> 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 we get plenty of jobs, yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. 
Now the younger people say we're tormented, but that's the way we had to get in. Mm -hmm. See, to get to get to get to work. Listen, I I want to I want I want to follow it up in just a minute. Uh, uh, we'll be right back. Am I talking too much? No, I no no. And my wife says I talk too much. See? But you, you know, you, you mentioned Broadway uh, operettas, and I mean operettas that, uh, that had come to New York to Broadway. Uh, what was the first Broadway musical you wrote? Shuffle Along. Ah. It was a musical comedy. It wasn't an operetta. Uh -huh. uh, Chocolate Dandridge was an operetta that I wrote. And uh, I, I wrote uh, this uh, number with uh, Noble Sissel. Miller and Lyles wrote the book. Miller and Lyles, the blackface comedian. That's something else. They, 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 they don't use it, either. but it was a vogue in those days, uh -huh. see? And the song that come out of that, The Love Will Find A Way, Your musical, your first Broadway musical, Shuffle yeah, Along. Yeah. And then uh, another certain gentleman shuffled back into the White House with it. Did, did he not? Uh, What's that? Another gentleman shuffled back into the White House with your song. Did he not? Very true. Yes. Uh, you know, when I was on uh, Dave Martin's show, three minutes and a half. Three minutes and a half I was on. <laughs> so he asked, <laughs> he asked me, he says, uh, you be, uh, can, you, can you play... What well, about her? I said, I wrote it. He says, uh, he, he says to me, he says, uh, did you write that for Harry Truman? I said, no. I said, there was five presidents before that song, that song had gone through, then, then Truman became president. <laughs> and he accepted it for his theme song. Yes, yeah. But I didn't write for him. <laughs> I wish I had <laughs> Listen, I, I gotta ask you something. You, you sing, you perform uh, uh, like uh, a man younger than I am. What is your, what is the secret? What, what do you do? What do you eat? My is secret your music? is longevity. Yes. You don't know those big words? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I never know it until my wife told me. I don't know it <laughs> well, the only thing I can attribute my longevity it to is my mother was the mother of 11 children without any pr uh, prenatal care. My father, what well, I told you, was a slave. 
and he had never had on a pair of leather shoes until the Civil War. And he lived to be 83 years old. You know how he died? <laughs> Dead. <laughs> That's why my father died on his sister. My mother, my mother, I told you she had 11 children. And my mother was only sick. My father was never sick. I was only, only been sick once in my life. That's the only way I, I, I can, can't uh, attribute my, what caused my longevity. And I'm glad I got it. I am too. I am too. And, uh, you, you know, you, you, you have one, one quality. You have one quality that I haven't seen outside of uh, the mother country. That is the ability to, to not make fun of. But no, make, I'm not making fun of. To make people of. laugh at the idea of pain and death. I'm that's an telling African, the truth. That's an African tradition that you, Thank you. <laughs> that you Thank must you. have retained. Thank you. It's beautiful. Really. You know what? You, you know what a medicine is. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. But on the back of the wagon, they pull the tailgate down, a big gasoline like the, that big, and they get a big dish pan, you know, with a drumstick in the uh, 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 rural district. And they beat on the dish pan, and the roofs, they call them roofs. The roofs come stand around, and the man, he ballyhoos, and then we would go out and dance, you know. I, I could dance too, see. What, what form of dance would you, would you call it? dance, see, right, right, right. <laughs> see, I could dance, see. Yeah, and, and, and a fellow named Sluford Nelson, <laughs> he could play. <laughs> Sluford, play with <laughs> Uh, I, I can tell you, I know nothing. I, I, I do know something about medicine shows because yeah. I'm, I'm a Mississippi yeah. farm boy myself. Yeah. But I don't know anything about music forms, frankly. Uh -huh. And I would like you to tell me what followed ragtime. Well, ragtime. In terms of a music first, style. Follow, first, it was a waltz, see? <laughs> The Viennese waltz, see? Uh -huh. Then it would come, uh, goodbye, goodbye, Dolly, I'm a sweet respect waltz. Though it breaks my heart to go, that's all I'm going to play it then, see? Cause I don't want to give away nothing, you know, see? But what led that? I'm sorry. Then after that came, same thing. <laughs> They call boogie woogie. They ain't nothing but walking face. Oh. <laughs> and that boogie woogie was, was part of the jazz scene. Boogie woogie. I, I do a number called Charleston Rag. I wrote that. I didn't write it because I couldn't write it in 1899. I'll play the Charleston Rag for you. Okay. And they call it boogie woogie. I'll play the Charleston Rag. I wrote this the same year that Scott wrote uh, Maple Leaf Rag. But I didn't know Scott. I had never seen Scott. I'll play the Charleston. Want to hear? Okay. All right. keys that time, didn't it? You know, yeah. see? see? Yeah. Now, I, I had people used to say to me, said, why do all the color people play on the black keys? I said, well, when I was a boy, we woke all from the south and we were afraid to hit the white keys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you have been making music most of your life. Yeah. 
and people have been trying, following behind you and other musicians trying to define it. It's not important really how it's defined, is it? As long as it's music that, that, that comes like. from you, that pleases you, that pleases like. people that hear you. Uh, what is your favorite? You want me to play my favorite yeah. now? Just yeah. not to do it. I played it once. Okay. You know, but I'll play it in a different key. Now, I play in all the keys, you see, right there. So. The white ones, too. White ones. Okay. I, I'm up north now. I play. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.